Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Estoy reacomodando las presentaciones. How are you today? I'm nice today. I like it. Thank you. And I'm happy because today is the, the last class. Yes, the last class. Excellent. It's excellent to me. And you are an excellent teacher. I Thank think you. so. Thank you very much. It's I important you wait, you wait because I feel well. I feel well in the class. No nervous, no nervous. Relax. Yes, and that's very good. Mm -hmm. To be relaxed so you can enjoy the class. And if you enjoy it, um, you learned. That's very good. And I appreciate your comment. Thank you very much. And I appreciate your participation every day. Thank you, <clears throat> teacher. But I learned English with you and I learned your, uh, your way to teach the class. I'm a teacher, but mm -hmm. I'm a, um, sometimes my students tell me that they are nervous with my class. And I, uh-huh, and now I'm trying to be with, like you. Hey, like you. <laughs> cool. You are imitating me. Yes, I imitate you. Hey, I really like that. Thank you very much. You make me feel very nice. Thank and it's you. really, it's really that I tell you. It's really because I, when I say something, I say the the right, mm -hmm. the right is la verdad, la, the truth, the truth. The truth. I <clears throat> say the truth. When I talk, <clears throat> I talk the truth. And I believe you. Uh, thank you. I believe in you. Yes, and that's why I really appreciate your comment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is there <clears throat> Nice. And the rest, how are you guys? Welcome to your last class. How do you feel? I feel very grateful with you because you. you teach us and we are learning about English. Thank you, Victoria. So, Thanks. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, we miss you last night, uh, Victoria. I was asking for you because you are always participating. And I noticed that you were not here last night. The truth <laughs> true is I had a very tiring and busy week. So mm -hmm. last night, Mm -hmm. I sleep. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know. You are a university student, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand that. No, but thank you for your comment. I appreciate it too. Mm -hmm. And how was your day, guys? <clears throat> Oops. Okay, I guess we are ready. <clears throat> Pero ya cuando llego a, a esta hora ya mi voz ya un poquito. <clears throat> Okay. Again. 
As I told you, I always get confused. Uh, did we practice this conversation yesterday? No, right? No. No, teacher. I guess no. we practice, we were practicing um, simple present versus present, present continuous. continuous. Uh -huh. So, uh, let's see. Mm, I have, okay, yes, we better practice this conversation first because this is the introduction for this section, the quantifiers. Quantifiers are, okay, those words, right? All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few and no one. Quantifiers, okay? So let's practice this. Let's begin with the conversation. I'm going to read it first. Listen to me and pay attention to pronunciation, okay? It says, how many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yep. Most families in China have only one child nowadays i didn't know that what about you marcos i come from a big family i have three brothers and two sisters wow is that typical in peru not really a lot of families are smaller these days but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. That's it. New words, new vocabulary, new expressions or pronunciation. I need help with the word nowadays. I don't know how nowadays. Nowadays. Nowadays means nowadays. And what is the meaning? Hoy en día. Nowadays, hoy en día. Oh, mm -hmm. No more. Okay, no. So, let's practice. Marcos and May Lee. Who wants to be Marcos and who wants to be May Lee? Victoria? May Lee, Camila, Marcos. And then Edgardo and Rebecca. Okay, let's begin with Victoria and Camila. You start, Victoria. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Millie? Actually, a an only chin. child. Child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Whoa, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Thank you, ladies. And Edgardo and Rebecca. So, Rebecca Meili and Edgardo Marcos. Okay. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, with some interference, but try. Uh, give me a second.
Can you hear me now, teacher? Much better. Okay. Uh, let's begin. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylis? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get a lo lot of birthday presents. Lots of. That's really good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let's see. Um, in this case, Cecilio and Ana Carolina. Uh, you start, Cecilio. You are Marcus. Oh, my brother and sister. Actually, I am only child. 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 Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know how. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have a brother and two sisters. Three brothers wow, is... and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of family uh, are small. Is my, ¿Cómo se pronuncia allí? Smart. Smaller. 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 These days. Yes, days. Wow, the, wow, the family are great because you have a lot of uh, birthday presents. Birthday presents. Good. That was very good. Thank you. You are more fluent, Cecilia. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nevi and Gabriela, please. You start, Nevi. Marcos. You are Marcos. How many brother is a brother and sister do you have, Melvi? Actually, I'm a only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child no como se dice esa palabra now, now nowadays now nowadays i do not can take what what about you marcos i come from a big family i have three brother and two sister wow is that typical in peru no, really. A lot of families are mal, smaller, smaller. smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. And Elsie and Carla Sarai. Elsie, you are Marcos, please. <coughs> Good evening. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mary? Actually, I am um, um, only child. 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 Really? Yeah. Permítame que no veo muy bien. Y se ve como borroso. Uh, yeah, most families in China have only one child 
sure. Oil. No, but days. No, but days. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. In Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday present. Thank you very much. Uh, China, 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 child nowadays, smaller, good. Thank you, ladies. That was really nice. Thank you, um, Let's see. Karen and Maria Elena. Maria Elena, you are Marcos. Okay. Marcos. How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Whoa, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Mm -hmm. Nice, thank you. That's really good. Who's missing? Mm, I, I got confused. Myra, right? Myra, I need one more. Who wants to work with Mayra? Okay, Reina, thank you. Uh, Mayra, you are Marcos. How many brothers and sisters do you have mainly? Actually, I am I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Okay. I I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Nice. Birthday present. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's see. In, if you notice in the conversation, there you have the quantifiers, the words that we are going to practice. For example, um, most. Most families. Um, what else? A lot of. Mm -hmm. And lots of. Check this. These ones. Those are quantifiers. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. Okay. All families, check these examples. It says, all families have only one child or many families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. 
but I'm going to give me a second. Check this. Those are some examples. All, must, some. When do we use quantifiers? When we want to express quantity. Yes, quantity. In picture number one, for example, and I'm going to ask you first this question in Spanish. ¿Cuántas pelotas son de basketball? Oh. Or basketball. All, bas basketball. All, right? It means 100%. All balls are basketballs. All. Mm hmm in number two, how many balls are blue? Most balls are blue. Most balls are blue. Most. Some balls. Some. In this case, I have some. Porque de hecho, les decía, les decía el otro grupo que hasta las conté. <laughs> and this is the point cuando... Aprovecho a decirles también que el porcentaje que vimos, que estaba el 100%, 0%, in some cases, um, no son muy específicos, son muy puntuales, a excepción del all, ese sí, ¿no? 100%. Y el 0%, que es no one, que sería nadie o ninguna, right Nadie. Let's see more examples. In this case, how many balls are small? Some balls are small. Some balls are small. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Some, right? Algunas. Some. In number four, All, all animals, animals have, have four legs. legs. All animals? Must. I think all so. Animals. Must. Animal. Must. Animal. Must. Oh, no, animal. no, no. No, no, no. No. Yes. All some. Animal. I see the chickens of the earth. I don't know. Uh, yes. <laughs> I didn't Most see them. Animal. Some, uh -huh. some, some animals animal have four legs. legs. So in this case, no, not all, right? Not all. Most. La mayoría. But not all. Most animals have four legs. Mm -hmm. In number five. Most. Jane put flowers in all of the all. bases. All, all, all yeah. of the bases, vases. That's correct. All mm -hmm. of the vases. Oops. Mm -hmm. All of the vases. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. In this one, you are going to give me examples. I'm going to mention my examples. Some relative, some of my relatives, relatives means parientes. Mm -hmm. Some of my relatives don't celebrate Christmas. Some, some of my relatives don't celebrate Christmas. Few, 
family members live okay. in San Salvador. Few family members. Most, most of my friends speak English. Um, a few people in El Salvador have more than five children. No one in my family speak Chinese. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in my neighborhood have Christmas trees in the garden or in the jar. Those are some examples. Now, I want you to tell me some examples. What is relative? Parientes. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Few family members are religious. Okay. Some of my relatives are tall. Okay. Few family members are Catholic. 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 Most of my friends have a children. Really? Oh. Yes. Okay. Few people in El Salvador have have a Facebook account. Okay. No one in my family. No one in my family is speaking French. French. No a one speaks people, French. A lot of people in my neighborhood um, have a cat. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people in my neighborhood have cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cats and dogs. Yeah. A lot of people in my neighborhood in my neighborhood have a pet. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you very much. More examples. I ha I have a question. It's mm -hmm. not simple, but I have a question. What is the difference with when we use few and we, we when we use a few? Good question. Let's see. Um, give me a second. Teacher, yes, I I I think uh, we use few when we we are talking about uh, we are talking of sing, uh, singular, uh, plural, plural. Sorry, and uh, we use a few when we're talking about singular. Not I really. Think not really. Not really. No. Ah, no. no. Because okay. if you if you see the picture, uh, both are used for plural nouns. Hmm. The first difference in the picture is that if you notice a few is a little bit higher than few. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's suppose no one is zero percent so let's suppose few is ten percent and let's suppose a few is fifteen percent that's ah, one okay. of the difference because if you notice we start from one hundred percent to zero percent but the cien a zero okay Entonces, 
uh, each of those have a percentage. The percentage is not very specific, okay? And they can vary. We can say, for example, all, 100%. Nearly all can be 95 or 90%. 90 Most can be 90 or 85%. It, it's not very specific, right? Many can be, let's suppose, 55%. A lot, let's suppose 70%. Some, sometimes I use some like in the middle. Let's suppose some is 50%, okay? So if you notice a few and few, one is higher, okay? That's, let's suppose the, let's say, the main difference, okay? The, the percentage. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Victoria? Okay. Uh, I have other question about this topic, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. What, what's the difference between a lot of and lots of? Ah, okay. Good question, too. Um, in this case, let's say they are synonyms. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can use either. They are uh, the same. Okay, give me a second. Something else here. They are interchangeably. Yes, pueden ser intercambiados. Se puede decir um, a lot of and. Lots of. <clears throat> Both are used for uh, plural nouns or countable nouns. Yes. Okay. And both are used in affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this case, they are synonyms, no problem. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. No problem with that. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No. Okay. So let's continue. No. Okay, more examples. Yeah, Mayra? Uh, um, what is it? Few, 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 few. few. Okay, few people in El Salvador speak Nahuatl. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. very few. Mm -hmm. um, no one in, in my family will go out of the country this New Year Eve. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Someone else. Thank you very much. Someone else. Nevi. Go ahead. Some of my family, some of my relatives, uh, have sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Few my few family members, uh, eat pacaya. Okay. Sí. Uh -huh. Le gusta. Most of my friends, uh, Working in the school. Mm -hmm. uh, few, few people in El Salvador visit Morazan City. Mm -hmm. 
No one in my family. ¿Cómo se dice? Espérame. No, no one in my family. This is. This is. This is Colombia. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in my newborn, new, newborn home, newborn mm -hmm. home. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Clean the strip. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. In this time, a lot of people in my neighborhood started celebrating Christmas. Ya comenzaron. <laughs> okay, I guess no, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jose, Elido. Oh, hi, good night, teacher. Hello. Uh, night. Okay, I I will say uh, I will say songs examples. Um, some of my relatives, some of my relatives don't make don't make. Uh, some productive, algo productivo. Something, something productive. Something productive. Mm -hmm. It's it's correct. Don't some of my relatives don't make. Don't do. Don't do. Sorry. Don't do something uh, productive. A few family members. Uh, it's. Is not like in English. Uh, the English don't like, don't like. Mm -hmm. no, sorry, don't like English. Uh, most of my friends, uh, most of my friends, uh, likes study English. Yeah, few mm -hmm. people in Salvador don't like don't like surf. Mm -hmm. No one in my family will won't give me a one one present in Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> <Qué mal. laughs> a lot of people in my neighborhood. Gossips are gossips <laughs> as usual, as usual. That's very common. Okay, okay thank you. Good, thank you. Good examples. Uh -huh. Someone else, more examples. Teacher, I uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. In no one is is the bird to be is is or are no one. Oh, good question. No one is mm -hmm. singular. Is singular. So you say no one in my family is religious. No oh, okay. one in my family is Oops. Catholic. No one in my family is. A teacher. No one okay. in my family is. Mm -hmm, no one is singular. Singular. Yes, good question. Okay, thank you. Um, y por ser singular, en este caso estamos diciendo o mencionando el verbo to be, pero si fuera otro verbo, eh, agregaría s siguiendo la regla del presente simple en los singulares. Por ejemplo, sería no one in my family works con ese works in another country or no one in my family lives in china no one in my family studies in the university okay okay it's it's singular. i got it mm -hmm. thank nice. you 
Nice. El yep. caso que está mencionando es si le quitáramos el, el singular, ¿verdad? Y le agregamos el plural, pero no le agregáramos is, sino que le agregamos la s. No es que estemos quitando el singular, sino siempre se mantiene singular. Lo que varía es el verbo. Pero o sea, que va en plural el verbo. No. Eh, siempre singular. With a third person, teacher. With a third person. Third person singular. Se toma ah. como third person singular. Eh, es que le decía, si usamos el verbo to be, sería verbo singular, el is. Pero obviamente, si utilizamos otro verbo, ese otro verbo tiene que tomarse como tercera persona singular. Por eso, no one works. No one speaks. No one travels. No one celebrates. Mm -hmm. Singular. Third person singular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dick. Okay. No one lo podemos utilizar con personas y también se puede utilizar con objetos. Good question. De hecho, si observan, si observan, bueno, acá no se puede observar, pero todos van acompañados, digamos, de un nombre o, digamos, sujeto. Por ejemplo, some people, some people in El Salvador work. Few people in El Salvador eat pacayas. Eh, most students work. Todos van acompañados como, a, a, com, digamos, eh, la palabra acompaña al sujeto. Pero el no one es el sujeto. Entonces, no podemos decir no one people. Uh -huh. Siempre va a ser no one y no podría referirse a objetos o animales. Acá serían personas. Por ejemplo, si yo me refiero a, a este grupo, a esta clase, yo diría no one speaks Chinese. No one works on Sundays. No one, no one travels on vacation. Entonces, el no one y luego el verbo. No hay otro sujeto ahí. El no one es el sujeto. Entonces, no podría decir no one, no one, no one elephant, no one elephants like vegetables. No, no puede acompañar a otro sujeto. Simplemente el no one es, sería el sujeto. No sé si se comprende la idea. Sí, es que como en el español estamos acostumbrados a decir, ninguno de esos animales comió o ninguno de esos. Entonces, Ex es bien. Exactly. En este caso, para decir ninguno de esos animales, sería any. La palabra any que ese es otro quantifier, eh, sería any of those animals eat vegetables. Any of those animals. Objetos sí. también, podría, si digamos en, el, en un parqueo, any of those cars ¿Mm? is mine. Ninguno de esos es el mío. Entonces, pero el any, se observa si va acompañando al sujeto. Any of those animals, any of those cars. Y también puede ser con personas. Any of you, ninguno de ustedes. Any of you speak Chinese. ¿Ok? More questions. Good questions. Now, uh, let's see. OK. 
Ok. Estoy buscando los ejercicios más, algunos específicos. Y vamos a pasar una encuesta. Right now. Aquí en clase. Para esta encuesta, se lo voy a explicar en español. No me van a responder, sino que pongan la manita. Ahí, el icono. ¿Ok? Y la vamos a contar. Para saber el, el número o la cantidad. ¿Ok? For example, how many of you work? How many of you work? Mm. Okay. Okay. Now, what? <clears throat> what is the answer? Esta es la, la encuesta, ¿no? ¿Cuántos trabajan? No me den el número exacto. Ah, seis personas. No. Muchos, todos, casi todos, pocos. What, what is the answer? How many of you work? Pero para eso tenemos que saber cuántos, cuántos salió en la encuesta. A few. Por eso mismo, por eso mismo, este es el uso que se le da a los quantifiers. Porque si fuéramos específicos, eh, yo podría decir seis, seis de ustedes trabajan, pero así no, a, a simple vista, uh, son pocos los que trabajan, ajá, son pocos teachers los que trabajan, no, mire, la mayoría, nearly all, no, todos, all, entonces viendo las manitas, entonces hacen así, ¿no?, como el cálculo, uh -huh. so, how many? A few. Most. Must. Must. Must? Mm. We are... Somos como 28, 30, 20, 28, I guess. Ahorita conectados, 28, digamos. So? I can say... Mm -hmm. Few. I would say few. Few students uh -huh. work. Or not many too. Okay, not many. Not many. Work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how many... was number two? How many... Of your classmates are university students. How many are university students? <clears throat> you. Few. Y acá incluso podríamos decir very few. Very few. Very few classmates are university students. Few. Okay. Next. How many girls are there in the class? Hmm? How many are? Now we can say. Says. A lot. A lot of girls. A lot of girls in the class. A lot of. Mm -hmm. And how many boys? Few. Few boys in the class. Few boys. Uh huh. No ganan las mujeres. Okay. And how many of you are single? How many are single? Como dicen en las fiestas, levanten la mano los solteros. 
ها فيو فيو واو فيو ستودنتس ار سينجل واي اوكي ناو هاو ماني ار ميريد ذا اوبوزيت هاو ماني ار ميريد Todavía no. No, okay, but the, the idea is how many of you have a partner? Ya van apareciendo más. Más. So, many, many of you are married or have a partner, many. And how many have children? How many of you have children? A lot. A lot of my students have children. Okay. Let's see. Children, no more questions. Okay, more questions? Curiosidades. How many of you, how many of you go to the gym? It's late. How many of you go to the gym? Few. How many of you practice sports? Some, many. Very good. Mm-hmm. Any question? Something you want to ask? No. It's the time teacher. Yes. My goodness. It's very late. No me ha dado hambre. Okay. A Where veces is the eso. Cake? Huh? Where is the cake for our last class? Yes, the party. What happened? What happened, guys? And the surprise party? No surprise. I me lo mandan for Christmas. El cake. Okay, let's see. Álvaro Mauricio. Ya volvió el orden. No está. Ana Carolina. Present teacher. Ana Xiomara. Present teacher. Brenda Rachel. Present teacher. Camila Alessandra. Present. Cecilio. Present teacher. Edgardo. Present teacher. Elsie. I'm here, teacher. Gabriela. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Jose Elido. I'm here, teacher. Jose Oswaldo. Karen Xiomara. Present. Karina. Present. Carla. Present teacher. Saraí, Lázaro. Eh, Carla Saraí o Carla, ¿cuál, cuál oh, fue la primera? Carla Elizabeth. Present teacher. Present, Carla Elizabeth. Ok, and Carla Saraí. Present. Lázaro. Present teacher. Ledvia. 
<clears throat> Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. María Elena. Present. María José. Present. Nevi. I'm here, teacher. En Nuri. Rebeca. Present. Reina. Present. Susana del Carmen. Victoria de Los Ángeles. Present. Present teacher. Ok. Present. And Wendy. Present teacher, perdón. Ok. Wendy. Present teacher. Nice. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's all. Comments, questions, thank you guys. Thank you very much. It was really nice. It was a pleasure for me to work with you. I hope to see you in the future. Keep on working. You are a very nice group. So thank you for everything, for your participation, your attendance. I will miss you, okay? And I hope to see you later in the future. Thank, thank you, you so teacher. much, teacher. Thank, thank you, teacher. So thank, you. Thank, you teacher. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Merry Christmas. Thank you, teacher. Merry Christmas, teacher. Okay, Merry Christmas, Christmas. everyone. When I say that we are grateful to you for the time, passion, and love that you have poured into each class. So I hope see you again, teacher. I really like it, your class. Thank you. I will send you some messages, some practice in the group. Thank Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Sweet dreams. See you later in the future. Bye. <clears throat> bye bye. Yeah. <clears throat>